energy. Believe you're dragging your feet. Point your toe. Let's do it again. Excuse me, Apostle of Warren. Da. Need to ask you one or two questions. This is about my ex-husband. You're wasting your time. This isn't only about Sergey, ma'am. You're also the suspect in the murder of Edgar Heinz, the elephant trainer. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. That was an accident. Tragic. No. It was homicide, premeditated, and we have the murder weapon right here. Lieutenant! You waited for Mr. Hines to put his head under Didi's Dee foot. Well. And then you gave the command for the elephant to stomp. She is well trained, weighs over four tons. A perfect killing machine. Adrian, Adrian, I gotta go. Just tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. But I was nowhere near the pen when it happened. That's true. You weren't there. You gave the command from across the midway over a walkie-talkie. Oh. Lieutenant, could you check behind the elephant's ear? Got it. Careful with that, Randy. We need the prince. Why kill Edgar Hines? Well, you had no choice. He knew that you had murdered your ex-husband that Monday night. Mr. Monk, you are demented. Nevertheless, you did it. Excuse me, I'm, I'm summing up the case here. The killer ran away. My foot is broken. You saw the x-ray. All week, I've been asking the wrong question. I've been asking if your foot was broken. I should have been asking when your foot was broken. It's true, you fell during a show two weeks ago, but it wasn't an accident. You said it yourself. The first thing you learned was how to fall. I'm guessing it was one of the best performances of your life, Natasha. And your fear of hospitals came in quite handy. There was no x-ray. Everyone just accepted the fact that your foot was broken. What is your problem? Hey, clown, take a walk. The night of the murder, you slipped out of your cast and followed your ex-husband and his girlfriend. You waited until they were in a crowded restaurant. You needed witnesses to see you running. That was the key to your plan. I wasn't there, but I heard you were dazzling. You really are the queen of the sky. An interesting theory, Mr. Monk. Perhaps you'd like to x-ray my foot again. No need for that. I'm quite sure it really is broken. Good. Now, you knew you'd be a suspect and you knew that we'd want an x-ray. It's not an easy thing to do, breaking your own foot. After the murder, you came back here. It was late, everyone was sleeping. Maybe. Everyone except Didi's trainer. His trailer was right there. He probably woke up and looked outside. Can't somebody do something about this clown? Look, I'm a police officer. Knock it on. Go ahead. Like Tolstoy, you know how to tell a clever story. But you need proof. The elephant isn't talking. Anyone could have put that radio thing in her ear. Randy, take that down to the laboratory, straight away. I don't think they'll find any prints. She's too smart. I'm sure she wiped it down. Then again, that walkie looks brand new, which means she had to put batteries in it. You did remember to wipe your prints off the batteries, didn't you, Natasha? Waka waka! All right, that's it, Freak. You're under arrest. For what? For impersonating an officer. <laughs>
charge here. It's